Hey guys. So in this new tutorial, we're going to be working on an application called Angular Spotify. What it does is it connects with the Spotify API and we use Angular tool to communicate with the Spotify API to get a list of artists. We'll be able to search for artists and we'll be able to use Angular routing to click on that artist and then we can see all the albums from this artist as well. And then we can click to view the album details and we can see the list of tracks and we're going to create a link to probably check the the album on Spotify and if we just want to preview this track we can also click on preview track to play the track you see that we copied exactly the way it displays on Spotify we, we replicated that and we used it to display it on our on our own application and also back to the home page we can also create a customized playlist and embed it into our own website so now i've decided to copy the top playlist in the world currently we have global top 50 and uh, global viral 50 and i also love jazz i decided to include jazz right there so this is just an application to teach you some of the basics of angular and as well as to learn how to connect with the api of spotify so let's get to work so the first thing we need to do is to create a new application shutting down the server from the other application we cd into any folder that we want and we use the angular cli command to create a new application with ng new and then the name of the application after that we can use ng serve or ngs to start the application then we'll go to the browser and check if it works once we are done with that we we'll go to the Spotify website for developers, which is developer.spotify.com. So we'll create a new application. I have already created one for myself for the Angular Spotify. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. What we do need from there is the client ID. So go ahead, pause this video now and create your own application. After the application is created, we'll go back to the terminal and create a new component using the Angular CLI command. We're using Sublime Test or any other test editor of your choice. We open up the project folder and scroll down to the search folder or the search component that we just created. Another thing we need to do is to generate a service which from where we're going to be consuming the API. So once the service is created, we're going to be importing some libraries from the Angular library. We're also going to need observable as well as map. So we create a private variable with client ID and then we can copy the client ID from the app we created in the Spotify developer site. We're also going to need to create an artist URL as well, which is going to take the API URL. We can go back to the website. when If we click on the web API and then on the user guide, we can copy any of this link, which only serves as a template for what we need to do. So let's go ahead and paste it as the value for the artist URL. We won't be needing everything so we can delete the artist and then replace it with the search and then the type which is artist of course and as well as we need to delete the other um, urls there except the limit so we delete that and we replace it with with the client id get the right value of the client id we're going to need to concatenate it with the value that we provided on line 8. So that's what we're going to do now. So when we're done with that, we're passing the query as well, which is going to serve as the query that we type into our input field. So what we have done is we used the URL template that we copied from the website, and we changed some part of it to fit the requirements that we need. We passed in the artist, and we saved it into the artist URL. So the next thing we need to do now is to uh, inject into the constructor the HTTP library which we are going to be using to visit the website of Spotify or the API of Spotify so to say. So we give it a search term which is the parameter. We create a search artist method and we pass in the search term and inside there we are going to create a URL variable that 
this is the access URL that we created plus the search term. And then we return this.http.get. And then we map the result and change it into a JSON response. Now that the search at this function or method is created, we can go ahead and use it in the search.component.ts file. When we created the service file, we got a warning that it was not added to the provider's array in the app.modal.ts file. So we need to add that to the provider's array, as you see on line 19. Another thing we need to use is the reactive forms module. So we change our forms module to reactive forms, as well as we need to now import the search service and finally add it to the provider's array. So the reason why we're using the reactive forms instead of the normal forms module is because in our application, we're using the reactive forms, usually known as the model driven forms unlike in the forms module, which is dedicated to template-driven forms. So let's go ahead now into our component file and start using the search service. First, we import it as well as the forms control, which is used together with the reactive forms module. And then now we can declare the input field, which is a type of the forms control. And then we can all now inject the search service into the constructor. Inside the ng on init lifecycle hook, we can use the input field now and test it with the forms control method of value changes and we can console log that into our console. But before we go to the browser to test out our result, we need to create some HTML element of the things that we we'll need to display in the browser. But before that, we we'll go into the CSS file, the style.css. We copy and paste a code that I'm going to provide for you guys in the description below. Just download and paste it here. And we're going to be using most of the classes from there in this HTML file. So first we create a section. And then in this section, we give a class of filter wrapper as well as a div, which will give a class of keyword wrapper. And inside this keyword wrapper div is where we'll be using the input um, HTML element where we're going to use the input field that we created in the TypeScript file. Here we give the input field. If you check inside the search component.ts file, you remember we created the input field of type forms control. So that's where we're going to be using the form control as the property, which makes it a model driven form. And with all that created now, we can go to the browser and test out what we have done. But before we go, let's create a placeholder property for the input, we can also make it out of focus given the property. Next thing we need to do is create an another list where the names of the artist will be displayed once it's typed in the input. So we give the class of filter select as well as a filter list, filter select list class, and a paragraph for the names of the artist to display. None of what we have done will be displayed in the browser if we don't copy the selector and put it in the app.component.html file. Since our expected result is to show everything we type into the input box in the console, we need to be able to display that console. So anything we type there now will display in the console because that's what we expect to print it right there in the console. So we need to go back now and ensure that whatever we are searching for is not just displaying in the console, but also querying the API of Spotify. So first thing we we add the ID of keyword to add the CSS properties that we already created. And next thing is to create an array for search result and give it a type of any. So in the ng on init lifecycle, instead of printing whatever the user types in the console, we are going to subscribe to that. Take a collection of all the inputs and then pass it into the search service method, which we created, which is the search artist method that takes in one parameter. That parameter now is going to be what we have in the input field. So anything we type into the input field will be passed to the search artist function. And now we can copy and paste the input field values to the search artist method. We also need to take note here that we're just subscribing to the result from the search service and we are not subscribing to the already made subscription. So next thing now is to delete that result that we're also logging into the console and test if the result is good. So we see if the status is 
400 which is an error will return and if it's not we will just save the result of the search into the search result so let's go back to the component now what we need to do is to first of all create a div so we use that search result to get all the values in it which is an array of course so we use the ng4 directive from angular a structural directive which lets us to loop through an array of values and then we can get each of the values in that array so let's copy this now and put it into a div we paste the lists into a div and we can just organize that for good formatting and inside the div now we can use the structural directive the ng4 to look through the search results and then display each result in the list element so we type a let result of search results which is an array don't forget that so we use so each of the values of this search result is saved in the result variable and now we can get the image of an artist for example we can also check like of course if it has one or two images so we take the second one here we display the name of the artist in the alt property and also give it an height of 50 and a width of 50 as well and also we can display the name of the artist in the paragraph so let's go ahead into the browser now and test what we have done we will save this file go to the browser refresh and let's type the name of an artist say for example drake and as you can see the auto search is working we see the list of all the artists in the spotify database that is drake we have nick drake drake white and so on so in the next tutorial we're going to be working on routing a situation whereby we click on drake and it should be able to take us to the next page which is going to be a list of drake's album for example so just a recap of what we have done, we created an app in the Spotify website and we created a function which is search artist and we were able to use that function in the search component.ts file. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next one, we'll be working with Angular Routes. See you in the next tutorial.